What's up, this is EasyOSX, and in this video I'm going to show you how to record your Apple TV screen using your Mac. First, you're going to want to make sure that your Mac and your Apple TV are on the same Wi-Fi network. So on the Mac, you'll want to go up to the Wi-Fi icon in the top right corner of your screen, click on it, and make sure you are on the same Wi-Fi network. It doesn't necessarily matter if they're on the 5 GHz or the 2.4 GHz band, they just need to be on the same one. Jumping over to the Apple TV, open the Settings app, scroll down to Network, and select what Wi-Fi network you want to be on. Next, open QuickTime, and then in the menu bar, select File and New Movie Recording. A window should open with a view of your webcam, so hit the drop-down arrow next to the record button and select your Apple TV. In my case, it's called Living Room. The screen will reload and you'll be presented potentially with a network permission screen, as well as an AirPlay code. Allow the network permissions if presented with it, and enter the AirPlay code that you see on your Apple TV screen. The screen will load again, and then you'll be presented with your Apple TV screen, which you can record by hitting the record button in the middle of the screen. The sound coming from your Apple TV to your Mac will be muted by default, so make sure to adjust the volume slider accordingly. What you'll also notice is that you can't remotely control your Apple TV from your Mac. You're still going to have to use your Apple TV remote or the virtual remote coming from an iOS device. But once you hit the record button, QuickTime will start recording the video of your Apple TV screen as you control it, which you can then use to make a tutorial or demo your app or even record a TV show or movie off your Apple TV. Boy, when that dynamite goes off, it makes a racket, don't it? Ah, uh, but gentlemen, that noise is the sound of progress. Now, some Apple TVs, like this Gen 4 1080p Apple TV, include a USB-C port. So, if you have that, you can use a USB Type-C to Type-C cable or USB Type-C to Type-A cable to connect it directly to your Mac. Connect the USB-C cable into the Apple TV, and then connect the USB-A or the other USB-C end into the Mac. And that's basically it. Well, that and the Apple TV's power cable and HDMI cable. Now, you may get a prompt if you use the wired method to install a software update to connect the Apple TV and the Mac. That's fine, just go ahead and download and install that, and then within a few minutes, you can use the same QuickTime method to start recording your Apple TV screen. But that's the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If this video helped you out, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more Mac and iOS tips, tricks, and advice. You can also check us out on our website, easyosx.net, as well as on social media. Again, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll catch you next time.